I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Welcome to the Black Excellence and Abundance Channel. What would the world be like without black inventors? The inventor of the cell phone is Henry Sampson Jr. Sampson was an American from Jackson, Mississippi. He attended Morehouse College and transferred to Purdue. He received an MS in engineering from the University of California. He was awarded an MS in nuclear engineering from Illinois and his PhD from Illinois. Sampson is the first African American to receive a PhD in nuclear engineering. In 1971, Sampson was awarded a patent for the gamma electric cell. This technology was used in the creation of the cell phone and without it, cell phones could not have been created. In 2008, Dr. Sampson was honored among 20 chemical engineers in other pursuits. He is also the recipient of a variety of awards, including the Atomic Energy Commission's Award, 1964-1967, the Black Image Award from Aerospace Corporation in 1982. In addition to his work in the engineering fields, Dr. Sampson was a writer, a film historian, and documentary film producer who focused on the African-American presence in film and the entertainment industry. He has written five books about the portrayal of African-Americans in movies, cartoons, and on radio. Sampson was married to Laura Hosell Young Sampson, a professor at California State University in San Bernardino, California. On July 6, 1971, Henry T. Sampson invented the gamma electric cell, which pertains to nuclear reactor use. According to Dr. Sampson, the gamma electric cell patent on July 6, 1971, patent number 3591860, produces stable high voltage outputs and currents to detect radiation in the ground. If it wasn't for Dr. Henry T. Sampson, we wouldn't have cell phone technology today. Isn't it funny how the mainstream media hasn't made him an icon based on this invention? Cellular phony has spawned a multi-trillion dollar industry and has freed tens of millions of people, both at home, at work, and school, to communicate anywhere, anytime. Mobile communication took a big step forward in 1983 with the invention of the cellular system regulating the portable phones which use radio waves to transmit and receive audio signals. And we barely even know his name. Before this time, mobile telephone service in the United States consisted mainly of car phones. This was extremely limited because of metropolitan areas had only one antenna for these purposes. In addition, the Federal Communications Commission assigned only 12 to 24 frequencies to each area, which meant that only that many calls could occur at a time. These limitations often meant a wait of up to 30 minutes for a dial tone and a 5 to 10 year wait just to acquire the service. With the invention of the cellular phone service in 1983, the personal communications no longer dependent on wires. 
In the 1990s, it will become possible to connect to the internet from virtually anywhere in the world using a portable computer and a cellular modem with satellite service. The technologies that develop from different fields such as personal communication, computation, and space exploration often work together to serve the constantly evolving human needs of the information age. Although Dr. Henry T. Sampson Jr. is not well known, he has certainly left his mark on the universe with an invention that is virtually used by billions of people around the world today. So, Dr. Henry T. Sampson Jr., we at the Black Excellence and Abundance Channel pay homage to you for your great invention that has brought the world closer together. Mr. Sampson, we say thank you. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, thou art rich.